Okay, when we look at this router's routing table now, EIGRP is in effect, but the situation is that these um, EIGRP routers are all auto summarizing by default. We haven't turned that off yet, and so we'll see what, what that means. If we look at the routing table of the bottom most router, the newest one that we've put in, you can see that it did learn about the external route, the default route out of the network. All right, so it has, it did learn about that from EIGRP, and that's great, right? But what about this 7 network that we added? Now remember, with the 7 network, we created four subnets but this router is only using two subnets. It's using the 128 subnet and the 192 subnet. So the 0 subnet 64 nut subnets are unused. Well, if you look in the routing table, you can see that there is a parent route here for the 7 network, and it says that it's been subnetted, right? But it sees it as three subnets instead of two. And you can see here that it has put in a child route to the 7.0 subnet slash 24 as a summary route, right? So it's auto summarizing, so it put in a 7.0 summary route to the null zero interface, and that's going to cause problems. The null zero interface, there is no null zero interface. Now it correctly sees the 128 subnet slash 26 and the 192 subnet slash 26, and it sees that the Ethernet, correct Ethernet interfaces that they're um, connected on. So these two child routes are great. Um, but this other child route that it put in 7.0 will actually go nowhere. And the result of that is that if you were to try to ping to, let's say, 7. Dot, let's say 22, 7.22 cannot exist anywhere else on the network because when the routes are looked up in this routing table, it will find a match here and it will actually drop the packet when the packet is sent to the null zero interface. So we won't have IP classless behavior, and the packets will be dropped instead of continuing looking and eventually finding this default route out of the network. And let's demonstrate that right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, this interface on this router is the 6.1 interface on this router. This is to the cloud, right? 6.1. And if we look in the routing table, you can see that he doesn't hasn't learned about the 6 network anywhere. But there is a 6.1 interface. It just happens to be on this default route out of the network, right? But there's no 6 network here in the routing table. Well, watch what happens if we ping to 192.168.6.1, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into simulation mode, right? And I'll look at the filters here, and I'll make sure that... Um, they're all off, and I'll just put on ICMP. So ICMP is the only filter, right? And then we will run the ping, right? There's the ping packet ready to go. We hit auto capture play, and you can see the ping is headed out of the default route, out of the network, ends up working its way up here, right? Ends up working its way up here, and eventually it's going to get to this interface 6.1. We'll have a match and it's sent back. So even though this router doesn't have a route to the 6 network, it was able to reach 6.1 because all of these default routes out of the network are working and so the packet got where it needed to go. Right? So I'm going to reset the simulation and this time I will ping another unknown network. So this time I'm going to ping 7 dot let's say 33. Now we know that there is no 7.33 and what's going to happen is the packet's going to get dropped instead of correctly going out of the network and searching on the internet going to the default route it's going to get dropped. So what I'll do is I'll hit enter and there's the ping ready to go and you can see that it's an X and if I hit auto capture play you can see that there's ping number one getting dropped, ping number two getting dropped, ping number three and four will also get dropped. Now normally, you know, maybe 7.0 network 
could exist somewhere else on the network. Maybe it could exist in some other place, but not in this case because the routing table finds a match to the null zero interface and that is not working. Okay, so clear the event list there. Whoops. And we'll reset the simulation. We'll go back to real time mode. And now to fix that problem, what I'm going to do is, is I'll open the router and I will do a conf t router eigrp1 and I'll put in the command no auto dash summary right and now the no auto summary command is in effect and now if we look at the routing table show IP route you can see that that route that summary route is now gone you've got the parent route which doesn't have an exit interface it's not an ultimate route and you have two child routes correct right and there is no summary route to a null interface so now what can happen is we can ping 7.33 and the behavior will be correct so what I'll do is I'll go back to simulation mode and go like that and I will hit ping right and then this time hit auto capture play and you can see that this time when we're going to 7.33 the packet correctly goes takes a default route out of the network and it's searching for 7.33 as an unknown network so the no auto summary putting in that no auto summary command really helped. Now when it eventually gets here there is no 7.33 so it eventually gets dropped but you can see that the behavior is now correct. So we'll reset the simulation.